Tonight, it's official. The Electoral College has voted, formally electing Donald Trump to be our next president. The magic number is 270, and Donald Trump just surpassed that, a victory his supporters have been waiting for, but not the outcome that other voters had been looking at today. WBZ's Jim Smith is live at the State House tonight. Jim? Hi, Paula. Well, it's been a very interesting day, to say the least, here at the State House. A day that began with vigorous protest and then wound up with a Massachusetts vote for Hillary Clinton. I proudly cast my vote for Hillary Rodham Clinton of New York. Here in the House chamber, it was all made official. All 11 Massachusetts electors voting for Hillary Clinton, following the lead of Day State voters last November. Earlier outside, dozens of protesters let their voices be heard, urging electors of other states who voted for Trump to instead vote for Hillary Clinton. The election of Donald Trump is ridiculous, and we won't stand for it. This is not what America is about, and three million more people voted for the other candidate. We need to figure out a different solution. But in reality, local electors tell us that a reversal of the national vote for Trump is unlikely today. In 46 states, they cannot change their votes. Okay, so in four states, uh, because of variations in the method, but each state has their own state laws. I think all the people, regardless of their party affiliation, made a commitment to, um, and it's a sacred commitment to, um, keep their constitutional responsibilities. And, of course, the U.S. Congress will eventually certify these final election results. During any other election cycle, all of this would be sort of routine and kind of under the radar. Not this time. Live at the Statehouse, Jim Smith, WBZ News.